If you enjoy our videos and podcasts and would like us to continue putting out regular quality content, head over to patreon.com forward slash aircrew interview where you can donate monthly and in return you will get rewards ranging from early interview viewings, bonus clips, credited as a producer and much more. Thank you and enjoy. So we have to talk about your first flight. That must have been amazing in the F-16, kicking yeah. in that reheat. Well, it, do we want to talk about my first flight or my first flight? So, ah, <laughs> is there a difference there? <laughs> oh my God. I, <laughs> so I, I told this story the first time I did a vlog because um, my very first flight in the F-16 was actually in the backseat. I sand, they would just call it sandbag. So I had some time. I, I showed up at my squadron. It was before we actually started, and they're like, oh, you can come fly in the back. And I'm like, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. But one of the things, you know, um, in between all the training, I went to the centrifuge. And I don't know if you know about the centrifuge, but it yeah. sucks. It's the, it's the worst thing you can possibly, I mean, imagine. Is that where like, the I'm skin not gonna, goes like that? And, uh, I'm yeah. Not, well, yeah, it's not. I, at least, I, I, yeah, I guess it did. But it's mostly an exercise in pain pain and you know staying awake and not get motion sickness because it will absolutely get you sick um because it's just spinning you know it's just spinning you're tumbling or whatever but anyway i had trouble with that because the air force sent me from survival training where i lost 15 pounds of water weight you know out in the woods wow. straight to the fuge so g tolerance is a function of hydration and you know muscles and all that stuff and i didn't have any of that stuff so it took me two days where it normally would take one for me to get through it. I didn't G-lock, but I came pretty close. So I was paranoid of this jet. I was like scared of it. So I go to the, uh, I go to the squadron and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to let that happen to me. It's not going to be a big deal. So I was down in water, you know, getting ready on the G strain. I did not know. So T-38 land, it's 10 minutes from the time you walk out the door to get to the airplane and 10 more minutes to start. I mean, it's about 15 to 20 minutes to get it all going. Mm -hmm. In the F-16, it's 55 minutes. Wow. Yeah. I had to pee at the end of the runway. And I'm like... That's no good, is it? <laughs> hey, you got a pedal pack up there? You know, because I'd never used one, the T-38. You just didn't need one. He's like, yeah. no, nah, I didn't bring one. I'm like, okay, all right. So we take off. And, and you know, now, now that I'm thinking about it, it's starting to hit me. I'm like, so how long is this mission? He goes, ah, we're going to fly like a 1.8 or whatever. And I'm like, ooh, okay. Now it's getting worse. And we were doing an air to ground mission, so we'd roll in, you know, pull G's or whatever. It got so bad. Like, I'm now thinking, okay, what in this aircraft could I pee in? You know, I'm like, I could rip the G suit apart, pee in that. I could, you know, t take my helmet bag. I could just pee my pants and deal with it. No, I can't do that. I'm a fighter pilot. You know, I, I'll never live that down. I'm like, well, I could just eject. I mean, at this point, <laughs> you know, what else are you going to do? I, I, yeah, I can't. Yeah. So I disconnected the G suit, you know, and it was just. By the time I got back, I mean, it was just pain. And, you know, I was I was so lucky to make it back to the bathroom, you know, to go to, to get rid of all the hydration that I had I had made. So now I never fly without I, I carry, you know, in my G suit pocket. I never fly without the, the pedal packs and stuff. But that was my first experience. My actual real first experience. Yeah, it's a standard. You know, you light the blower. And, you know, you feel the afterburner kick in. You're like, damn, this is way because, you know, the T-38 has it, too. But the T-38 does not give you the kick in the pants that the F-16 will give you. And, you know, even the Block 25 is the old Pratt & Whitney engines. It's not that. That's what I flew in training. So it's not it's not the hot rod. The real hot rod was, you know, showing up to my squadron at Homestead and we we're flying Block 30 Big Mouths. And we were clean and we did an afterburner takeoff in in uh, in a clean F-16. We were doing probably it's a 12,000 foot or 13,000 foot runway. We were doing 460 ish, 480 at the end of the runway and just went straight vertical. And we're climbing. And I'm like, oh, this thing is amazing. Crazy this thing is. Idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's got I mean, it would if you stood it on its tail, it would accelerate in the vertical. I mean, it just I mean, it, it, the thrust to weight ratio was like a one one or one two or something. I mean, it was incredible 